Michael Burry, the investor who became famous for predicting the massive 2008 housing market collapse in the U.S., appears to have recently placed a big bet against the U.S. stock market. Now, he was featured in Michael Lewis's book, The Big Short, which was made into a movie. The whole housing market is propped up on these bad loans. They will fail. The housing market is rock solid. It's a time bomb. So Mike Burry, who gets his hair cut at Supercuts and doesn't wear shoes, knows more than Alan Greenspan. Dr. Mike Burry, yes, he does. <laughs> Well, this time around, Burry has uh, bought $1.6 billion worth of financial instruments called options that would allow him to profit from a stock market fall, according to a filing made with U.S. regulators. Let's bring in Julia Chatley in New York. He, uh, he uh, reckoned that he understood more than, or certainly it was uh, suggested he must understand more than Alan Greenspan, who was uh, the Fed chairman at the time uh, back in 2008, and he understood the financial markets more than those who uh, are supposed to run them. Uh, what does he know that they don't this time? You know, when he makes a big move, you're absolutely right. The market listens for all mm. of those reasons. And the thing I loved about that movie, actually, is it simplified something that tends to be incredibly opaque and complex. And, and this is no different, quite frankly. Um, what he's done is basically buy these financial instruments, as you mentioned, to protect against the downside. Now, you might do this for a number of reasons. You might actually hold lots of stocks, but think that the market perhaps will go down for a short period of time. And you want to protect that so you can stay Stay holding on to those stocks, but just limit. You make money with these options to protect them. Or you could just outright think that the market's going to fall. And we don't really know. He has said and made several warnings about the stock market. He's concerned about these so-called exchange traded funds. And that's what he's taken these options on, that they oscillate and, and amplify the directional movements of the markets, be they up and down. He's warned about millennials coming in. Earlier this year, Becky, he did tweet out uh, or X out, whatever it's called now, mm. um, saying sell. And then afterwards, he came back and said, look, I was wrong. Remember, we then entered a bull market for the mm. tech heavy Nasdaq and the S&P 500. So the suggestion from this, at least at the time, they may still not be options that are relevant today, of course, because we don't know. At the time, he was concerned about some kind of fall. But um, the markets march ever higher. So while you should always listen to this man because he's proved he's mm. smart in the past, uh, no knee-jerk reactions, please, based on this information. It's interesting, isn't it? Because there's a sort of herd mentality, as you and right. I know well enough, in, in the markets. And enough go in one direction. The rest of the herd starts chasing. Is there enough other um, activity out there to justify some sort of move you know, together at this point. Is there any evidence of that? Any evidence of further shorting? It's a great question to ask. Look, when this bet was made, remember, we were probably talking, mm. actually, when he was tweeting about selling, we were concerned about U.S. recession risk. We were concerned mm. about rising interest rates. But he was also buying into stocks of banks. So the, the difficulty in trying to take a, a filing like this and try and understand exactly what he was thinking or doing over what time horizon mm. and based on what event is impossibly difficult to know. And as you and I both know, and this is vitally important, there is so much passive investing out there today mm. that that just one human saying we're buying this or selling that does not dictate market moves mm. to any great extent. So I'll reiterate the warning. Um, he's interesting to watch. Mm. Don't make moves, market moves based on his judgment, <laughs> particularly if you're investing for mm. the longer term.